It's like those motherfuckers in Arizona heard my good news segment last week. It's like they heard it and they thought, oh, fuck, happy feminist. We need to do something about that shit. So they, and by they, I mean Republican State Representative Walter Blackman and I co-sponsoring GO pieces of shit, introduced House Bill 2650, a bill that would, if enacted, define abortion as homicide. And yes, that means that doctors who perform abortions at any stage of pregnancy could be charged with murder. And presumably, any woman who submits to an abortion could be charged with accessory to murder. Oh, and in case you are unaware, yes, Arizona is a death penalty state. So they're literally trying to pass a law that could lead to abortion doctors being executed for doing their jobs. And just in case this bill wasn't fucked up enough, I should note that they don't even build in an exception for rape, incest, or threat to the pregnant woman's life. I should also note that Blackman is one to maybe keep an eye out for. Over the summer, he posted a video on Facebook where he lied incessantly and made up a bunch of bullshit statistics before saying, quote, one guy dies a couple months ago while committing a crime, George Floyd, and you are up in arms about that guy. I don't see you protesting the death factories, end quote. That last bit is his pet term for Planned Parenthood clinics, by the way. Now, some people refuse to get all that worked up over bills like this because they can't possibly survive long enough to become laws. And while I understand how you get there, here's a couple of things to keep in mind before you set aside your outrage. The first is that given today's Supreme Court, you can't possibly be as confident today as you were five years ago when it comes to laws like this. And secondly, regardless of the fate of the law, it sends a clear and dangerous message that the proper punishment for abortion doctors is death. Even if we lived in a world where no anti-abortion zealot had ever assassinated an abortion doctor, that would still be terrifying. And we don't live in that world. But you know what? Arizona can't keep me down this week. I'm still riding high on having a female vice president and a misogynist relegated to Mar-a-Lago. And it should come as no surprise that we're already seeing important movement in the right direction. For example, the chauvinistic assholery that stalled efforts to put Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill seems to be coming to a close. So quick refresher here. Back in 2016, Obama's Treasury Secretary announced that Tubman's portrait would replace the one of the genocidal slave owner that we have on there now. And the idea was to do it in 2020 to coincide with the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage. And also, doing a 20 thing in 2020 is just cool. Anyway, in the meantime, we voted in a misogynistic man-baby who was a big fan of genocidal slave owners. So those efforts stalled. But we learned on Monday that the Biden administration would not just reinstate the effort, but accelerate it. And I don't know about you, but I can't fucking wait for these idiots to start trying to boycott $20 bills. And while we eagerly await that, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Eli. <laughs> 